We have great challenges and opportunities in genetics, in medicine, in biotech over the next decade. Uh, in 2010, we are, through the power of medical advance, adding about 0.2 years of life expectancy every year to the human experience. That's a good thing. But in 10 years' time, uh, or 15 years' time, it will be one year added every year. Nanotechnology allows us to build machines from the microscopic level up. And if you've seen the movie Inner Space, you remember about the little spaceship that was injected into the human system. Today, that is no longer theoretical. That is a practical reality today. It is just not yet uh, consumer viable. It hasn't been made uh, in such a way that people will purchase it for a reasonable price. We can inject bots into your system today that will automatically regulate your blood pressure, your insulin level, your heart rate. It can even, uh, at times, augment things like the human memory and help us deal with problems like dementia. How many remember when the Times magazine covered the mapping of the first human genome about eight years ago? Has anybody read that? It was big news back then. The first time the DNA map of a human being had been completely written out. Back then, it cost $3 billion to achieve that. Today, it cost $5,000 to write an individual human genome. By the year 2020, it will be $5. And that raises all kinds of possibilities when it comes to enhancements, uh, enhancement of things like memory, for example, uh, through genetic engineering, but also it raises some exciting possibilities of disease prevention, particularly diseases that are inherited.